Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday, March 10th, and it was a good day. Uh, it was slow at work because, you know, around here when temperature and threatening and threats of winter being under a winter advisory, a lot of people don't want to stand outside waiting to, to go inside to get food. They want to go inside, stand online inside where it's warm. I don't blame them. But, of course, me, when I was their age, I was kind of like, ah, it's nothing. Um, I still say that, but I don't like the cold. I don't worry about winter advisories unless it's a tornado or hurricane or something like that. Wind, yeah, wind. Put on the right coat, you don't notice it. Um, snow, you put on the right gear, you don't notice it. Or it doesn't slow you down or bother you. Um, of course, here I'm at 50 going, hey, it's cold outside. But it's 40. I don't care, it's cold outside. Um, of course, when you wake up and you look at, look at your, uh, your app for the weather and it says it's 38, but it feels like 22. You go, what? Actually, what was it? I woke up this morning. Yeah. This morning I woke up, it said 28 degrees outside, but felt like 22. And I just kind of went, either way you look at it, it's cold. Um, cause anytime it drops below 35, I start going, yeah, it's getting a little chilly out here. Um, but I'm nutty anyhow, but I had a good day at work. Um, before I left work, um, we we're just going to call the gentleman chef, um, was talking to me about how to, um, alleviate some of the waste that we've been having because, um, our gyro cone is one of the most expensive things I have out there in my venue so he said monday let's try cutting the the cone in half and only using half the cone like cook it but cut it in half put the other half in the uh, warmer and you know let's see what happens how much of it we use how much of it we don't use so i was kind of like well that sounds like a great idea next week is a three-day weekend the thing is is i'm hoping that the weather will, will slow down the traffic and um by Wednesday, I won't have to worry about cooking a whole cone or even a half a cone. Um, because Wednesday, if I have to make, if I have to use a gyro cone, I'm just going to cut it in half. Take the one half, put it back in the freezer or something like that and go about my business. So we're trying to find ways to lessen our waste because it does cut into the budget. I mean, the less waste we have, the more we can use for other things or, so, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just kind of like, okay, sure. We'll try that. Money sounds like a great idea. Because um, I was going to come to him anyhow and say, hey, look, um, when it's weather like this, I don't even use half a cone. I'm throwing away literally anywhere from 50 to 25% of a cone, you know. And they're pretty big cones. They're 10 pounds worth of meat. And I'm it's like throwing away like five plus pounds at the end of a day. If I can't use it the next day, which I've already got three pounds worth of gyro meat from the, from earlier this week. And I've got enough to cover for Friday. And I have a feeling Friday, if it's going to be snowy, it's going to be slow as molasses. Um... But I had a good day at work, came home, Jerry seemed to be in good spirits, she um, was waiting for phone calls, waiting for visits, waiting for a lot of different things. Um, I did call her before we went to say, hey, is there anything I need to go pick up? Oh yeah, you need to stop by CVS. A prescription for her, an antibiotic because of her sinus congestion and my um, pain medication, my muscle relaxer cyclo something or other i that i get to cyclo and go <laughs> um it almost looks like cyclo pan, pan something <laughs> don't even ask me it's greek to me um but all in all things were good uh mom's doing good jared's doing good i think 
I actually can't wait until next Thursday. Not only because it's St. Patrick's Day and I, I can... We have basically St. Pa uh, Patrick's weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have off. We always have Saturday and Sunday off. The only thing is the 18th, the day after St. Patrick's Day. Um, I've been requested to come in from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. to help with a catering event. And I was like, um... Let me ask my wife first, because they asked if I wanted to, if I was willing to volunteer for it. So I called Jerry, and Jerry was like, "Yeah, sure, if you want um, extra money in the bank." And I'm like, "Well, okay." So even though I'll only be working seven hours instead of eight and a half hours on Friday, it's still seven hours worth of pay. So, yay for me, you know. Most of it's going to be in the kitchen anyhow, so I'm, you know, hey, sure. And last time I did a catering event, it was just wear your uniform. Okay, sure. You know. But if they're going to have me in the kitchen, that means I don't have to worry about too much. Um, but I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, and since I'll have Thursday off, I'll have you know, a day to relax. And then Friday I'll do my, I'll get up at a decent hour, try to do some stuff around the house, go into work at one, do that event, come home, go straight to bed because I'll probably be tired. And then Saturday and Sunday I'll try to do some work around the house. And then I think it's the week after that, like the week of the 18th basically with St. Patrick's Day plus what they call St. Patrick's Recess or not St. Patrick's Recess they call it um, Spring Recess and then uh, the week the, the, the what is that going to be the 22nd I think that Monday will be the 22nd um, I can find out real quick So basically, let's see here, where is the monthly? Okay. So the week of the 21st, which will be Monday, um, is a regular week. And then I think the week of, from the 20th, the evening of the 25th, in other words, when I punch out from the 25th, I don't have to come back until like the 3rd of April. So I'm like, cool, you know. So the week of Saint, uh, the week of Saint. I keep on wanting to say Saint Patrick's. Um, the spring, the week of spring break. Um, I will probably be spending most of the week doing whatever I can, and hopefully, if there's no major issues or problems, whatever you want to call it, I might have the house, might have this room finally done. Might even have Jerry's craft room done so she can start crafting for holiday except for the spring summer months um and maybe if i have time i'll be able to get into the guest room and find and get that cleaned up because the guest room became a dumping ground and i'm like i'm tired of doing this i'm tired of moving stuff from one room to the another uh, to a different room and then back like we moved everything out of the craft room so we can rip up carpeting redesign everything you know re reposition everything she had another uh, QB system that she had gotten from Did we buy that at IKEA or did we get it from someplace else? No, we got it from IKEA. It was been sitting in, it was sitting in the van for a month or two. Um but not longer than that, because we got it before Julie went back to Vegas, and it's been sitting in the car, either in the car or in a shed for months on end. But we got basically the furniture, and most of everything is in place. She just needs to go back in there and work with, you know, we'll work together to finalize everything else. Um, there's some stuff that was in the craft room that is just, I don't know what it is, but I want to go, I 
I want her to sit in the hallway door and um, go through it with me so we can decide if we're going to keep it or if we're going to give it away. Personally, what I can remember that we put in there, most of it could probably be given away. In fact, I've got at least two, maybe three boxes in here that is ready to be put in the van to be given, you know, to Goodwill or the library. Because um, there's books in there that could be used in the library, but there's one item in there that could be sold. It's unused. It's a fancy dancy, very confusing um, calendar. But, uh, this thing, which I thought was something different on where it is called Maxed Out. It's a, it's a planner, basically. It's But the thing is, it's the style of it and whatnot is Euro. European, excuse me, I don't mean to say Euro. But it's like, there's no so solid lines, it's all dotted lines. I can't write on dotted lines, I need solid lines to write on. Um... It would be great for either a very big business person or a college student who could use it to plan their goals and whatnot. And keep on looking at it. I'm like, well, you know what? I could probably try to figure out how to use it. One line, one yeah, one line journal. Uh, monthly unmarked. So basically, it's not marks. So, if I were to keep it until 2023, I can maybe figure out how to use it by then and actually use it to my advantage or just get rid of it. I don't know what. I don't know which yet. But it has two different... No. Is it two? I thought there was three. Two different... Um, yeah, there's three. There's three different um, bookmarkers, like built-in bookmarkers. A strap to keep the whole book closed and a pen pencil holder. And I'm like, eh, if I can figure out how to use the dang thing, maybe, you know, I could. Because it does have a startup guide on how to get it done. And it literally breaks it down and shows you and gives demonstrations. Sometimes reading it does not always help me. But they have, like, go to, to their private Facebook group, community, um, insightful email and blog posts, ebooks, video content, support, support forever. And a website you can go to. So I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know yet. So let's end with the giveaway books. But I think because the way it looked on Amazon, I bought it and said, yeah, maybe I can figure out how to use it. And I got it and went, oh, um, yeah. It's designed like the European. I remember one of the um, notebooks I got off base at a year, at one of the um, different stores we used to go to in, you know, in Germany. And it wasn't lines, it was dots. And you had to stay with, you know, in the dots or on the dots or whatnot. And I went, no, I couldn't do it. I was too hyper. I was too, like, you know, but, um, you know, but I've got junk, junk, semi-junk. I don't know what to do with junk. No words. I got some stuff over there that I can either keep or, throw, or, or give away. I don't know. Um, I got stuff over here besides the box of books that is like, if you're a wolf enthusiast or whatnot, that I could. I, I don't know if I'm going to give it away or not. Some of the stuff is just kind of like, well, if I can finish decor decorating the way I want to, um, maybe I could use it. Maybe I could put it out for decoration. Maybe. I don't know. 
you know, I'm st my mind is constantly changing schematics, and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to change anymore. I and just like my Elf Quest graphic novels or whatever you want to call them. I'm thinking about putting them on the top because they're in book holders on the top of my bookcase. Um, you know, I got stuff that's still on the buffet that's not going to stay on the buffet. I just... I think what it is, is is a combination of procrastination and just not knowing what to do with it. And I'm thinking if I get down to the point where I find something, I just really, really don't know what I'm going to do with it. And if it's mine, not Jerry's, um, I have to decide if I'm going to give it away or keep it. And most likely, if I can't find a suitable solution to where I'm going to put it, I want to give it away. Because I just don't see the sense of holding on to something that I just don't know where I'm going to put it, let alone if I want it. Um, but... There's a lot of things that I'm just kind of like, I, 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 yeah. How do I incorporate this into what I want to do? How do I want incorporate? So it's like, hmm. So, yep. That's kind of where I'm at. But I might, when I get to it, might ask you about which tapestry should go where because... I had the one that fell down that was up there that had the big wolf on it. And then I have a, a I have like two more different type of Nordic style uh, tapestries. And then I got one that I'm probably going to, I don't know where I'm going to hang it. I don't even know, you know, I've got a bunch of stuff back here behind me on the couch or the chairs. that I'm just kind of like, oh God, I got to pull those out and decide what I'm going to do with them so I can set things up that in fact are the way things are right now i don't even the only reason why the chairs are back there is because we have no other place for them but at the same time it's like we're not using them if we're not going to use them is there a way i can store them in the shed or what because if i can store them in the shed i can rearrange some of the stuff that's here like if I didn't have all that stuff there, which is basically the stuff that's on the chairs, plus the tra chairs, I can probably swing this into that area to semi-block it, but I don't want to totally block it. But I don't know. I, I've got to. I've got to make a lot of different decisions. But I'm. I'm hoping to get it done before the end of spring break. Hoping. So, but anyhow, um, yeah, this is going to be a short video because I just, a lot of things I do want to talk about, but I just don't want to, I, I, I'm kind of like, I don't really want to talk about it, but I do want to talk about it because what I want to talk about is, I, I don't know. I think I'm not going to talk about it because it gives too many people from certain groups and I don't even know what all the groups are, you know, are anymore, but People who just don't like me or Jerry or anything about us that want to do things that just aren't right. And I probably already gave them enough air to just make them satisfied. And I didn't want to, but I at least needed to get that much off my uh, chest. But, um, oh yes. Before I jumped on here to do this, I was perusing Jerry's um, videos and her la her last video especially there was two people that were just ba basically making snide rude unnecessary comments not only about Jerry but to one or two of the um, other viewers who were being positive and polite and nice and I was like nope Ain't gonna fly. Ain't gonna fly in this on these channels. Um, and if I see either one of those people on this channel making the same kind of comments or or anything like that, they're gonna get removed from mine because if you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. Literally. Especially to Jerry. 
Jerry's got enough issues to deal with. And I've got enough stuff on my plate as well. But people think that I'm just blowing smoke out of my butt when I tell them that, you know, I'm not going to deal with it and it's not going to, it's not going to fly. And okay. So, you, pfft, all right. Don't believe me. See what happens when you're on my channel or Jerry's channel. Either one of her channels. And if mom ever starts her own channel, which I highly doubt, um, because she doesn't like being in front of the camera, um, I won't let that fly, you know, towards her either. I mean, there are plenty enough websites and groups out there that like to, you know, hide behind their, their computer screen and make belittling or rude comments or whatever. Go hang out with them. Don't bring it. Don't bring it on here, you know, because I I'm not looking at them anymore, and I don't know any of the other ones. But it's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my energy. I'm not gonna do that. I got too much, too many things to do. I've got Jerry to take care of. I got mom to take care of. I've got a house to take care of. I got a job that I got to deal with. I work. Six in the morning to two, two thirty in the afternoon, and uh, I'm lucky if I get, you know, time to myself to just chillax. Um, which I actually probably going to do here in a few minutes after I eat, but no need for the negativity, no need for the rude or unhappy people to make unnecessary comments so yeah if you don't have anything nice to say go someplace else say it there because i don't care no more i don't i'm too burnt out on a lot of the different things to be dealing with people who want to be children or nitwits you know, that, that, a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing lately, um, negative towards me or Jerry, it's like, really? You want to go back to grade school? You want to play grade school tactics? You know what a teacher does? Disciplinary action. You know what the disciplinary action is here? Bye-bye, Felicia. Out you go. But anyhow, enough bantering. I have to go eat and I have to go relax to go to sleep. So you guys have a good day, good weekend, enjoy, bye.